Hi, I'm Kyle Vandenbosch. Uh, I grew up here, um, just across the border in Larkswood, Iowa. Went to West Lyon High School. Uh, played four sports at West Lyon, and then went on to play football at Nebraska. And then after that, um, had a 12-year career in the NFL. Uh, currently, I'm stay-at-home dad, father of five. Um, still take uh, fitness very seriously, and just enjoying my time with my kids. Um, as a young athlete, um, I would have loved to have all that D1 offers. I think throughout your career, I mean, I was a four-sport athlete in high school, and um, each sport brings different challenges, and uh, you need uh, different training. And, um, you know, the one thing I've learned as you go on, um, there's different things that limit you uh, throughout your sports careers, whether it be uh, just youth athletics, whether it be high school athletics, or even in college. Um, it's, it's different types of training. It's total body training. It's putting your body in different positions, challenging your body in different ways, uh, putting different stressors on your body, and then it's, it's about recovery. Um, D1 offers uh, expertise and, and training in, in all of those areas. Uh, and another thing I've learned is, as I went through high school, um, especially with football, but with all sports, um, you have limitations and, and you, there's, if you play long enough, there's a 100% injury rate. And what the people at D1 can help you with is, you know, you come in and you say, you know, I had a, had a tough workout yesterday. My, my right hamstring's really tight. Um, they'll say, okay, here's, here's what we're gonna do to help that today. Here's the workouts we can do um, to, to work around it. And here's the things we can do to move forward. Um, you know, I dealt with um, separated shoulder in high school, had a broken femur um, and I had neck problems in high school. And I wish I had, you know, I was figuring those things out on my own. I wish I had the people at D1 to say, okay, look, um, here's the muscles we need to strengthen um, to help recover from that injury. Here's the things we can do looking forward to help prevent injuries. And here's the type of recovery that you need. Um, they offer all that. And it's not, um, you know, it's not the workout place where you have a sheet and everybody does all of the same workouts and everybody does all the same things. Um, it's specifically geared to the individual athlete and it's all about the relationships you have with. for me training um i needed to have somebody i trusted um, especially when i was young and if they if, if you develop that relationship and you say okay here's what i'm dealing with today and they'll sit down with you and say okay here's what we can do here's here's how here's your best path forward um, and those are the things i wish i had i mean i was just Kind of working blindly and um, you know those things would really help me as a young athlete um, and then again especially as i uh, went on to college um, you have the challenges of it's things are your body goes through a lot more stress it's not just the stress of, of the football activities or your specific sport it's the stresses of school and you're limited on your time and so um, to have somebody that can help you with be efficient and, and um, okay, we're not going to do this because this is a waste of time. We're going to do these things because this is what you need today and this is what your body needs and um, this will help you um, help you today. And it's not about, um, you know, it's, it's as you come in, you have different challenges every day. And that's that's what's great about D1 is they, they are specifically geared to what you need. They don't necessarily put you just in a group and this is what the group needs, this is what you need today. Trainers here at D1, um, they're experts. I mean, they've seen and some of them have been through um, everything. They've been in the shoes of the athletes. They're former athletes and um, they're seasoned veteran trainers and coaches. Um, so they know what the athlete needs. And, um, and no athlete is the same. No athlete um, has the exact same injury. No injury is the same. Um, no athlete recovers the same. Um, everybody needs something different, and they've seen it all, and they're able to specifically help each individual athlete with their needs. I initially was in contact with the D1 in Nashville when I played with the Titans in Nashville. Um, and I had some, again, the D1 for me was about personal relationships. It was about um, getting to know the trainers, about um, coming in and saying, okay, look, um, 
you know, I got something at eight o'clock today. Can I come in at ten? Or I've got, or today I've got this shoulder and I can't do some overhead presses. Can you help me with this? And um, I had great relationships. And it was about um, you know them knowing me and me them knowing my my body uh, sometimes better than I did. So, um, you know, I would I just wanted to work. Just wanted to go out and do stuff. And um, they would say, okay, you can't do this today. We need to do this. Um, and um, the D one helped me with anything I needed, uh, whether it be trying to run a 40, whether it be working on my vertical, or whether it just, it was rehabbing something, or, um, you know, specifically, um, it was a time of transition for me when I was in the NFL between teams. Um, I didn't have a place to work out. And it was, a, it was a place that I felt comfortable walking into, knowing that they had my interest um, at heart, and they wanted what was best for me. Um, and then, um, I wanted to bring a D1 here uh, to Sioux Falls and work with the Orthopedic Institute. Um, this is, again, a group that I have a lot of experience with. Um, early in my NFL career, I had some setbacks. I, um, I'd torn both of my ACLs in my first three years, and I was really struggling because um, in the NFL, all they care about is, can you help me today? They don't care. It's like injured players get pushed to the side. And, um, I wasn't helping them win games because I was injured. And so um, I was put in contact with Brad Fifey, the Orthopedic Institute. Um, and again, it was just an awesome relationship. I mean, Brad, um, he was able to help me figure out what I needed to get healthy. And I just couldn't. I couldn't. My knee injuries were tough to come back from. I was dealing with a lot of pain and I was dealing with weakness. And um, Brad helped me with everything I needed. And it was, yeah, I mean, it was a combination of just the rehab, the strengthening, the stretching. Um, and and he also put me, I mean, um, I had to, throughout my career, I had 12 different surgeries. Um, you know, it's, uh, again, injuries are a part of sports, especially football. The further up you go, it's um, it's about how quickly can you recover, how quickly can you get back, and how strong can you be when I come back. And, um, so I had uh, Dr. Luby at the Orthopedic Institute did some of my knee surgeries. And, um, and then finally, um, I, as again, I struggled through my first four years, and I worked with the people at the Orthopedic Institute. I did some work at um, D1, and uh, my fifth year, I made my first Pro Bowl. And then it was three Pro Bowls in the, in the next five years, and uh, my career really took off. And it was because I was healthy, and I had the confidence, and um, it was, it, you know, I was, I was the strongest and in the best shape of my life. And so I wanted to be able to bring those types of things to the athletes here in Sioux Falls. Um, or, or the, just the tri-state area that could come and get the same benefit that I got throughout my career. And, and the great thing about uh, D1, you get that locker room feel um, that you, when you're not in a locker room. I mean, you've got not only the trainers and not only the staff here, but you've got other athletes going through the same things, pushing each other and motivating each other. Um, you know. Having rehabbed so many injuries, the hardest thing is just feeling alone, feeling like um, you know you're, nobody understands you and nobody's going through the same things that you're going through. Um, and so it was about pushing each other and motivating each other, and and that really helps. And it, it got to the point where you know you don't, you not only don't want to let this trainer down that you have a special relationship with, you want, don't want to let your 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 fellow athletes and your friends and the people in the same situation is you want to, in a way, compete, but you want to push each other. Having gone through D1 myself and now being the parent of five children, uh, you know, I, and having seen all the benefits, not only for myself, but uh, all these other kids that are here and their adults, um, I know what D1 has to offer my children. Um, I, and, and, you know, I have twin boys, and they couldn't be more different. You know, one likes baseball and basketball, and one likes soccer and basketball. And um, I don't want to put them into something that is necessarily specifically geared to one sport. I don't want to put them in a football school that year-round only works on football school. I don't want to put them in a soccer school. Um, you know, they get a broad spectrum of get just total wellness and working on um, you know weaknesses of your body and um, just just being an all-around athlete, because I think that's important at their age. And um, same thing, I have a 12-year-old daughter um, that's in golf, dance, uh, volleyball, softball. 
um, you know, that's what D1 has to offer. Um, it's not a football school. It's not a track school. It's an athlete school. It's going to make you a better athlete. And again, um, you know, I think one of the hardest things for kids to deal with is the injury aspect. Um, you know, kids don't necessarily want to rehab. They don't want to rest when they have to. They don't want to train their weaknesses. You know, when I was a kid, you only want to do stuff that you're good at. Uh, you want to work on your strengths, but that's what D1 will do is make you a total athlete. The coaches and trainers here will, you know, watch you as you develop and as you work out and get to know you personally and get to know how your body works and, and tailor your workouts so that, you know, you can be a better all-around athlete so that you have success not only at, you know, your main sport, but any other sport you might want to try. I think... Personally, I think D1 is one of the most beneficial things for an adult, um, which you typically don't get I mean, as an adult. Um, most people just want to plug into um, big box gyms where you jump on a treadmill you know, for a half hour and elliptical for 45 minutes. Um, and that's pretty much the extent of your exercise. Um, but what D1 offers you, again, is it's that locker room feel. Um, you have peers um, that are here pushing you and motivating you. Um, you get that attention from a coach or a trainer um, that can see what you need, but also push you. I mean, I think a lot of the adults, not all of them, some of them are former athletes, and you're used to coaching, you're used to competing, you're used to that, um, that team feel. And um, there's no question that as an athlete and as an adult, with somebody next to you doing the same thing as you, struggling through the same things and pushing each other, you get that benefit going to do more, you're going to work harder, you're going to work longer. Um, and, you know, I can see that. I can see that with some of the adult classes and the adult boot camps. And um, I think it adds a degree of fun. It adds accountability. Um, you know, you want to be there to push each other and you, you don't want to let your partners down and your group down. Um, and I think, you know, that really is a step up from any other workout. I mean, you're with, with, with the other people around you. And with, with the trainer, I mean, it's 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 you know, it's what it's what I miss personally. Um, you know, I miss that team feel. I miss the coaching. And um, and again, as an adult, um, you deal with aches and pains and injuries. Um, you wake up one day and your back hurts and you have no idea why. Or today my shoulder hurts and, and you have no idea why. And the people here can help you through that and cater your work. And help you with those injuries, um, or if it's just soreness, help you work around the soreness so that you're not missing days, you're not missing time. Um, and it's it's great as an adult to still feel like an athlete. I think um, all of us, especially former athletes, still feel like you know, I feel like I can still put a helmet on and go play, even though I, I would stand no chance. But it's good to get that feel here to feel like. An athlete and to train like an athlete to get that um, you know, just just to feel good uh, what makes this D1 different and what makes the D1 at Sioux Falls special is specifically the coaches and trainers here um, they have come from a variety of athletic backgrounds um, each coach has a special expertise um, and um, you know, they have a history of, of training athletes and um, have been doing it for years. I mean, it's not a group of trainers um, that didn't actually play the sport. I mean, I feel as a player, um, there was a coach that didn't play football, and he would yell at you and try to tell you something. They're like, if you haven't been in my shoes, you don't know where I'm at. Um, these coaches have, and they can say, look, I was in your shoes when I was your age, and here's what I dealt with, and here's how I – things I did and think the, the mistakes I made and the benefits I got um, and uh, each coach again has their own history and background and um, level of expertise and so if you're working with a specific coach and um, you, know, you have a good relationship with them and they might not have an answer like you know I got this pain in in my foot and I don't know what's causing it and I don't know how to train and I, you know, I don't want to miss workouts um, you know Somebody here has dealt with it. Somebody has worked with an athlete that's dealt with it. And you know, they share that knowledge. And so you're not just getting the benefit of the knowledge of the coach that you usually work with. There's a 
great staff here. Everybody works together. Everybody um, is willing to help and lend a hand in the game. It's so beneficial having an orthopedic institute office right here. Um, you know, as you're training, um, you might have, again, shoulder pain. Um, no, this, this part of my shoulder hurts. There's a click. It wasn't there before. Um, and your trainer can say, okay, hold on. Let's go talk to the people over here. Let's go through this door and ask them a question and see what we're dealing with. Um, make sure that we're not going to do anything to put you in a bad position. Uh, make sure we, we can, what exercises for sure can help you. Um, you know, and then um, if it is a significant injury, you've got experts right here. And they can help you. Um, you know, they can figure out what your next step should be to get you back working out and back playing and competing once again. Iron sharp and iron means a couple of things to me. It means as an athlete, you want to push your fellow athletes. You want your fellow athletes to push you. Being a part of a group, um, you work toward similar, same type of goals other better. Um, the other part of that is um, the other iron is the coaches and trainers and staff here. Uh, they're again not just sitting behind a desk handing you a piece of paper saying here's what you got to do. They're out here with you uh, working with you. Um, they're the iron that also sharpens your iron. It's, it's everybody working toward the same goals. It's not um, people Know, trying to collect money or collect a paycheck is people that are interested in the athlete, people that are genuinely that genuinely care about you and what your goals are and what your aspirations are and helping